And welcome back to The Correspondence on Voice of America. I'm Millar Sega in Washington. Well, you know, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton squared off in a televised national security forum this week with the Republican defending his preparedness to be commander-in-chief and the Democrat, of course, arguing that her controversial email practices as uh, Secretary of State did not, in fact, constitute a security judgment on her part. Now, in the NBC television forum, Mr. Trump renewed his praise for Russian President Vladimir Putin and his disdain for President Obama, saying the Russian leader enjoys an 82 percent approval rating, proof, of course, from Trump that uh, Putin is a better leader. Now, he also claimed President Obama's policies in the Middle East have, and we quote, reduced American generals to rubble. I'm not sure if you can fact check that, but on the other side, Hillary Clinton continued to deny that she did anything wrong regarding her emails while once again apologizing for the controversy. So, which candidate made the better case to be the next commander in chief? Well, to help us out with that, I'm joined, luckily, by our political experts. I have VOA national correspondent Jim Ballone on, on the set, and joining us once again, VOA Pentagon correspondent Carla Babb. Thank you both for joining us. Mm -hmm. Now, you both watched uh, the, uh, the Commander in Chief uh, forum, uh, but I, I'm, I'm interested to get your take uh, uh, on what happened there, particularly on the issue of substance versus style, mm -hmm. okay? Because I saw a lot of, uh, I, I saw basically a, a very defensive Hillary Clinton because she was asked an awful lot about those emails. Uh, but she provided a lot of substantial uh, policy uh, notes and detail. Uh, Trump, on the other hand, uh, didn't provide a lot of detail, but he was confident, he seemed confident. Yeah. Uh, um, and he made quite a few controversial comments. And yet, guess who gets all the, all the headlines? It's Donald Trump. Yeah, I looked at this uh, program as sort of a rehearsal for the debates. Is it? Okay, they're coming up in a few weeks. And by all accounts, we should point this out now. That first debate will probably be the most watched event in the political season, and maybe the most critical, particularly because we're seeing the polls closing. Sure. Trump is closing in on Clinton. Style versus substance. In that event, sometimes it's not what the candidates say, the particulars of their speech, it's how they appear to the voters. And the voters will be taking that estimate very closely. And on that score, Clinton did look a bit uptight, quite frankly. Trump was more measured, seemed more confident. Maybe that's his TV reality show sure. background that's shining background. through. But that could make a difference in the debate. So, so uh, Carla, what, what does Hillary Clinton have to do? I mean, if this is, in fact, uh, uh, viewers watching this for, for style, for style points, and, and seeing who looks more confident, what does she need to do? Well, she has to keep giving her case, and she has to keep trying to reach the independent voters that are undecided, which, as we're getting closer and closer to the election, is becoming a smaller and smaller pool. But with Hillary Clinton, she had a difficult time being in front of a lot of veterans mm -hmm. uh, and members of the military, which tend to lean Republican. I remember there was a time that she was talking about gun control, and she said that the United States has to prohibit terrorists who are on a watch list from being able to get a gun. Right. That seems like something that people who are fighting terrorists would not necessarily be opposed to, but it drew nothing mm -hmm. from the crowd because there are a lot of pro-gun supporters something else. in the military that were looking for something else. Uh, Jim, now, Hillary Clinton gets asked a lot of serious questions because she's a serious candidate. Uh, Donald Trump, on the other hand, a uh, former businessman, gets a pass on a lot of, say, geographic type uh, uh, or military type uh, issues because he's a businessman. Do you think we'll the, see about that. Do you think the media has a double standard in, in terms of grading or Well, that's or, the Clinton, the Clinton argument now is that it is a double standard. Uh, I have a feeling after this, the controversy about this forum mm -hmm. uh, and the people who put it on and the questions being asked, which were done by Matt Lauer of NBC, yeah. who's a respected journalist, yeah. I think now you're going to see more of an effort, I think, to kind of hold Trump accountable. For example, uh, during the forum, he made his usual claim that he was against the Iraq war from the beginning, and which we not, know from September of 2002. He was not challenged on that, was he? He agreed that he was for the war. So right. uh, there's issues here that had, but Matt Lauer, unfortunately, in that instant, did not call him out on that. Whereas during Clinton's time, he was very thorough getting into the email controversy and her vote for the war. Now, uh, Carla, Matt Lauer was also accused a little bit of, uh, of sexism because he stepped quite often on, on Hillary's lines, telling her to be brief on some very important uh, uh, questions uh, and, and, and speaking at length about her emails. I think he's, it, it was the criticism of NBC's Matt Lauer deserved. 
I didn't see that at you all. Didn't see that? I felt that you thought he was equally tough on both. Uh, I, I felt that he could have been more tough on uh, Donald Trump, but I don't. I didn't see it as sexism. I felt that he was interrupting her because her answers were taking a lot longer than Donald Trump's, and perhaps that's because she had more substance in them than, than right. Donald Trump. But I don't think that that was a, an appropriate criticism at all. Jim, is it going to make it tougher for the for the moderators of the uh, the coming debates? I mean, are they uh, going to be under the microscope as a result of what happened? I here? think Trump is a skilled debater. He got to this point by basically winning the debates in the Republican primaries. I don't think the Clinton people are underestimating him. He's also an experienced television performer, mm -hmm. and that is a different uh, sort of... Uh, bag of experience that we have from Hillary Clinton. She's the one who has the standard in terms of dealing with command and control issues, though. She was Secretary of State. She has a lot more experience at this. This should show through. The question is, again, style versus substance. What's going to be the main takeaway for voters on that first debate? Now, this, uh, uh, Carla, this was, this was a forum uh, that was presented before a, a crowd of, of, of military uh, officials, uh, some veterans there, and yet uh, Matt Lauer did not discuss uh, the, the treatment, uh, Trump's treatment of, of the Gold Star uh, parents. Uh, they did not discuss uh, the way he described John McCain as not being a war hero. Right. Um, now, Hillary Clinton did get that in, though. She did mention yeah. that at the end. She said that was not the way that the United States needed to move forward. We do not need to attack American Muslims, she said. And she also said that we do not need to attack Gold Star families because of their religion, because they disagree with your views. Uh, I think, going back to Jim's point, uh, I think we're going to have to see more substance from Donald Trump. And I think that as more substance comes out, there's going to be more criticism. Up until this point, there's not been as much to criticize because he's, he's not given us details. But little things that he would say about Iraq, for example, saying right. that, well, when we went in, the United States should have taken the oil. You know, that was something that kind of shocked everybody. You, you wanted to take Iraq's oil, right. and then he had to explain well, that. The same so thing with the generals. When Trump rumble. makes Erone, you know, outrageous comments, that's when he starts to lose. You notice in the last week or so, he's calmed down. Right. And what's happening? The polls are getting tired. So we'll have to watch what happens uh, in the debate, uh, I guess, a couple of weeks from now. Yep. Thank you, Jim and Carla. We are out of time, uh, but we'll be back again next week for another edition of The Correspondence. In the meantime, stay up to date with all the latest world news at voanews.com. And do check out all of our shows there. Just go to the Watch TV tab on the upper right of the screen. We're also on Facebook and YouTube at VOA The Correspondence. I'm Milar Sega, and for now, so long. Good morning.